Welcome. In this video, we shall look at the HR onboarding Google Sheet template. The onboarding process is vital from an HR perspective since it's crucial to reduce or eliminate any possibilities of early churn or early leavers. This depends on the onboarding process to be seamless for any new joiner. The template provides you with quick access to key onboarding metrics and reports so you can effectively manage the onboarding process within your organization. Within minutes, you can view key metrics like the onboarded percentage, that is the percentage of employee who have completed the onboarding process and the average number of days taken to onboard an employee and most importantly, the 90 days churn rate. This template follows a four step process which is quite straightforward and simple. The first step, you need to enter values that are relevant to your organization in the settings page. This template by default supports 25 different onboarding activities and you can list them here. Enter the rest of the attributes like gender, higher source, ethnicity, job type, job category, salary grade, and the exit type and exit reasons that are defined for your organization. Step two is to enter the list of employees in the employee sheet. The employee name, the number, which is a unique ID here, and the rest of the relevant employee details in the sheet. And the next step in the onboarding sheet, you will have the employee name, department and start date already populated. All you need to input are the dates on which each of the onboarding process are completed. Once these dates are given, the Google Sheet automatically calculates the onboarding status, whether it's completed or in progress or not started, and the completion date. That is, in case all the activities are completed, the latest of these is taken as the completed date. That is all the data entry you need to do. Once these data are given, you can view the fully automated HR onboarding dashboard all within a few minutes. In the dashboard sheet, you need to enter the start date and the end date. That is the range within which you want the dashboard to be populated. Once this is given, the dashboard gives eight crucial onboarding metrics and key reports like new joiners, which is the number of employees with start date given within the date range that we have specified. And the onboarded percentage, that is the percentage of employee who have completed the onboarding process and the average onboarding days, that is the number of days taken to onboard an employee. And then the important one, the 90 day churn rate. You can also view key trends like the new joiners, onboarding completed percentage, average onboarding days, and the 90 day churn rate as trends across different months. Since the 90 day churn rate and the average onboarding days are important, you can view these charts based on different analysis dimensions given in the dashboard, like department, gender, higher source, etc. You can also view the employees that are currently being onboarded within the dashboard itself. There is a print view where you can use to print the list of onboarding activities for each employee along with the completion date. Following these simple steps, you shall have access to important HR onboarding metrics and reports to aid you in informed decision making. Please download this template and for any questions, do reach out to us in the comments below or email us at support at We would love to get back to you as soon as possible.